on a quest? Yes, of course. What kind of quest? Find the cure for the Empress. And to save our world. And no one can give you any advice except this. You must go alone. You must leave all your weapons behind. It will be very dangerous. Is there any chance of success? I do not know. But if you fail, the Empress will surely die. And our whole world will be utterly destroyed. When do I begin? <laughs> You must hurry, Trinu. For nothing grows stronger every day. fellas what up fellas it's your man in the building feeling like a stack of a million the shave lion king bro and i'm here bro to enlighten you to bring you the retention news you know how i get down man <laughs> listen guys i want to talk to you guys about something today all right we overlook all right this trait quite often it's not talked about enough okay and if you really look at it okay with your third eye you really look at it with your mind on lock bro you start to see that this is a big reason why retainers okay have so much success in life and have so much success with people okay it's a reason why this is happening okay and the reason why this is Okay, it's because of your energy. We've talked about this, okay? But what you guys don't seem to understand is the absolute power that a retainer holds, okay? When we are in the presence of people, okay, most people tend to open up, all right? This is how you're able to, you know, make, you know, good associates with people, okay? This is how you're able to have good business connections with people, okay? This is how you're able to share information and get to know people because people just open up to you when they're in your presence, okay? The next thing that you notice, man, okay? You notice on how people just gravitate to your area. Guys, let me tell you something. Let me tell you something. I work in a field, bro, okay, where I'm around tons of people every single day, okay? Every single day, I'm around people, okay? Every single day, new people, okay? And the number one thing that happens to me more than often, bro, like I said, guys, you guys think I'm capping when I tell you I, I really wish I had retention goggles so you could see what's going on in my life. Okay, so you could see how people gravitate to me. Also, I understand that my energy, okay, can, you know, I can give other people my energy by touching them. Okay, you guys got to understand, I, I have a profession. I'm in the profession of hairstylists. Okay, I do hair. I'm a hairstylist. I work at a, a quote unquote salon. Okay, so when I'm working there, bro, all right, I touch a lot of people all the time. Okay, it's one of those jobs out there where you're able to touch people. There's not a whole a lot of jobs out there where you're able to, you know, get the able to touch people and make them feel comfortable and relaxed in your presence. And one of the number one things is that I'm noticing is is when these people come into my presence, how they just open up to me. 
okay, and are just so relaxed, okay? These people have just met me, all right? And soon as I touched them, okay, just from the first greeting of the words that come out of my mouth, these people are already at ease, okay? And this is why I'm telling you your power of a retainer, this is where you got to use it for good, okay? Because your game now becomes super game, okay? But it's really not even game. is because you're using the power of your sixth sense, Okay, you're able to touch and reach people, bro, through different avenues that the average person is not yet, you know, been affiliated with due to, you know, the lack of creativity that's in their mind. All right. Us as retainers, bro, we have the ability, bro. All right. To be able to manipulate the energy, man. And the people that come into contact us. And with us, bro, often do what? What do they often do? They often open up to us. They all, they often open up and they share with us. Okay. And this is why we have so many connections. This is how we meet so many people. Okay. And in my business every single day, this is what I'm being shown. Okay. These people are coming in. They're trusting me. All right. And they are loving the energy that they are receiving from me. Bro, I, I meet so many people. I have so many phone numbers. I have so many emails. I have so many contacts. Okay. I have so many people. Okay, with on within the first time that I meet them, okay, this is the information that I am getting from them. If I was some kind of person, bro, that was out here trying to make a business off of this, okay, I probably could be making lots of money off the side. But honestly, okay, I'm telling you guys what happens. Okay, they all change. It doesn't matter who it is, bro. Okay, they all change. I'm going to give you another example of what just happened to me. Okay, so the other day I was selling something. All right, I was selling something on Craigslist, bro. All right, I had a mini refrigerator that I was selling on Craigslist. Okay, and by the way, just to, to bring up the, you know, the story of how I got this mini fridge, I got it for free. Okay. It's one of those things. It's just retention things. I'm going to bring up a uh, part of that later in the stream. I'm going to tell you all these things I've been getting for free. Okay. So I got this free mini fridge. The thing was not even a year old. Okay. It was a nice whirlpool, uh, mini fridge. And I just sat it in here for a day and a half. I posted it on Craigslist and some guy offered me some money and he wanted to come and pick it up. So he comes over to come over and pick it up. And as he's coming over, to pick it up, he's emailing me. Okay. And as he's emailing me, he's saying he's driving. Like he's one of these guys where you could just read the uh, type of person he was just on how he was communicating in the email. He was communicating on the go. Therefore he was not where he said he was going to be when he was sending the emails. Okay. And then he showed up here, you know, in the parking lot and then emailed me again, talking about he's been waiting all this long time and he's sitting out in the heat and all this and that. Right. So automatically you, you could just see what kind of guy that I was dealing with. I could tell I could, I was dealing with a guy who had some kind of personality problems, you know what I mean? Very dominant, very probably, you know, unempathetic, you know, type of personality. You could just tell just the way he was talking. So anyhow, the guy comes to the, uh, you know, I end up meeting him outside and the guy, you know, immediately, you know, wanted to come out. I could tell he wanted to have an attitude, but as soon as, as he see me and he looked me dead in my eyes, this whole attitude just changed. <laughs> I swear to God. And, and here's the funny thing. The guy is, the guy was bigger than me in size. You know what I mean? But it was just my eye contact with him and he could just read the type of energy, the type of person that I am. And he just automatically disarmed himself. Okay. So this just proves to me, bro. Okay. Right off the bat, bro, that the power man, okay. Of retaining your seed, bro. Okay. It changes everyone around you. I'm going to give you another example. Okay. I have so many examples of this and it's just been crazy, but at work it happens so many times. It's crazy, bro. Okay. So I, like I said, I've been working, I work with women and every day I'm just working with women. Right. And I noticed 
you know, when I first started working with women on how I carried myself, how I dressed, okay, how I always am, people people would meet me and they would think they'd be like, this guy probably, you know, doesn't always dress up like that. Maybe he's just trying to be out here showing out, but little do they know that that's me. That's who I am. I've been dressing like this since the eighth grade, okay? This is the way I've always dressed. I've been dressing like you know, sharp clothes, you know, fitting clothes since the eighth grade. That's, you know, that's, that's always been me. Okay. So I notice when I'm working with, you know, all these different groups of women, I'm noticing over the weeks that their, their outfit game is getting stepping up more and more and more. Okay. They look at more ravishing. Okay. They're looking more beautiful than they were when I first started working there. Okay. And I'm keeping it a buck with y'all. Okay. Now here's the thing. I end up getting another job. Okay. With a whole different group of women. Okay. And guess what happened? The exact same thing happened again, but hold up. Wait a minute. I know you're going to sit here and try to be like, oh, he's capping. No, 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 no. It happened a third time. I went and got a completely different job. Okay. With different groups of women. And by golly, what is the next, the same thing that happened within weeks of me being in their energy, okay? They all had a major change in the way that they were, you know, showing themselves through their appearance, all right? And I've seen this too many times to count, okay? Too many times times to count, bro. Okay. Let me give you another example, bro. Okay. I was had this one client in my chair, bro. Okay. Hella thugged out. Okay. When I tell you this guy was hella thugged out, but I'm going to tell you this guy was thugged out in a different type of way that we're not quite accustomed to. This guy was thugged out in the, in the form that he was a, what? Okay. I'm keeping it 100 with you. Okay. This dude came in my chair. He was really nigga. And here's the thing. He didn't have to come to me. He chose to come and get his hair done by me. Okay. So he walks over. All right. And he sits in the chair and he, and he has this whole head of hair, bro. When I tell you this dude had a whole head of hair, he had a whole head of hair, bro. Okay. A full beard and everything. And he had some somewhat what I would call nice hair, meaning he has that good hair that I would like to fade. You know what I'm saying? His haircut's going to look clean if he let me cut it. So he turns around and he looks at me. He goes, I want you to shave it all off with a razor, including the mustache, the goatee, and the beard. I said, what? He's like, I want you to shave it all off with the razor, okay, including the goatee, the mustache, and the beard. I was like, whoa, oh, okay. I was like, are you sure, bro? I was like, bro, your hair is fresh, man. I was like, let me fade you in, bro. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I was like, I can hook you up. You know what I mean? He was like, nah, man. He's like, I got to do it for work. Just, just do it. And I was like, okay. So I'm sitting there starting to cut his hair. We're talking. And next thing you know, we're talking. We're talking about all kind of crazy stuff. We're talking about, you know, things that we used to do when we were childhood. Things that, you know, that we like, okay? Uh, he was started talking about how he's not a, a person that dislikes people with different color skin, okay? This is what this guy was saying. I'm telling you the straight up truth. I'm telling you everything. This is what this guy is saying to me. Before I found out anything, this is how he was talking to me, okay? So he was like, yeah, um, I, I don't believe in, you know, the, the, the division between, you know, colors and all that. He's like, I grew up around all sorts of people and he's like, uh, all sorts of people have treated me different type of ways. And he's like, there's no specific people. La, 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 la. So he goes, next thing he goes, he goes, can you shave my neck please? And I was like, okay. So I pull out the razor and I go to start shaving his neck. And this is where the whole story changes. So I get out, I get out the razor razor and I start going down his neck, bro. Okay. And as I'm going down his neck, he has this huge tattoo that starts at the big, the uh, top of his neck, bro. Okay. And then I'm, you know, as I'm cut, like kind of like, you know, doing the razor down his back, like I'm kind of looking at it like what it is. And then he kind of like goes, look kind of like, like pushes me while I have the razor and he kind of looks at me and goes, he goes, yeah, bro, I don't do that anymore. He goes, it's okay, man. Just keep going. 
So I'm like, I didn't even know what it was, okay? Because I can't really see all of it. But as I keep going, bro, okay, I'm getting all the hair and I have to pull the shirt down farther and farther and farther. As I pull the shirt down farther and farther and farther, it's this gigantic swastika on his back, okay? Huge, all right, on his back. And I didn't think nothing of it. Just because somebody has a, a tattoo on his back doesn't mean anything's bad. You know what I mean? So I didn't think nothing of it. I, I kept going, right? I cleaned him up. We started talking. Dude gave me a $30 tip, bro. Listen, bro. Dude gave me a, dude gave me a $30 tip, bro. Okay? For hooking him up, okay, with the, with the Mr. Clean special. All right? And he ended up being an ex- Really, nigga? Bro, an ex skinhead, he said he changed his life around when he got custody of his daughter. Now, I swear to y'all that I made a video less than a couple weeks ago, okay, about how women, okay, inspire men to retain. And if you go watch that video, in that video, I have a segment in there when I tell you guys about how the power of just a female on the presence alone okay, has the ability, bro, all right, to change men for the better, and here you're hearing this in the same story where this ex what? got out of what he was doing, okay, because he ended up getting custody of his daughter, and he changed his whole life around, okay, this guy was spilling his guts to me, you think if he didn't like me, number one, he would let me do service on him, number two, he would tell me his whole, damn near his whole his whole life story okay and then and then number three give me a 30 dollar tip you guys have lost your mind and you're missing the point of me telling you they all change in your presence bro okay when people get in the presence of a retainer bro there is something magical that happens, okay? There is a connection, okay? Especially if you are in contact with people physically, okay? I want to talk about that as well, okay? Especially when you're in contact with people physically, okay? Because then when you're in contact with people physically, you really are, are able to give them your energy. And let me tell you what your energy does. Your energy has the power to make people change their lives. You guys, I cannot make this up. I have people in my past, bro, who have who were, who were once in my past with, if within the recent years, okay, who shared energy me, who I gave my energy to willingly with intention and thought, bro. And what had happened was, is these people are now in a different energy. These people are in self improvement energies. Okay. When I tell you, bro, that as a retainer, your energy, bro, has the ability, bro. All right. To move mountains. Okay. To change the world. Okay. Eric Clapton, I can change the world. This is what you have. Okay. As a retainer. People are going to open up to you. People are going to be highly suggestible, okay, to what it is, all right, that you suggest because of your solid at your solid demeanor, bro. Okay. You're you're a retainer, bro. Okay. You are emitting an energy, bro, that is so strong. Okay, so comforting, bro. All right, that people around you, man, all right, become vulnerable and they don't even realize it. Okay, the hardest people, okay, I don't care who you are, the hardest people in the presence of someone who is truly, okay, who is truly Brahmachari, bro, who is truly celibate, bro, who is truly retaining their seed bro it changes bro it flitches like it flips like a light switch all right and this is why you have that ability this is why you have that gift this is why they tell you you use your powers for good because at this point bro you have the ability bro okay literally all right you have the keys to people's conscious literally because they are trusting you, 
All right. They open up to you. They are now vulnerable to you. They now have told you, okay, parts of their lives that they have not even shared with anybody before. And this is what happens more often than not, bro, when you're retaining your seed. They all change in your presence. It's the energy. It's the way it works. And you know what's funny, man? I hear so many people out here, okay? They're always the coomers, all right? They're always the fappers, okay? They're always these dudes out here. They ain't got no energy, okay? They balls is completely drained, okay? They got crusty ass kneecaps, bro, all right? From, from, from being all over the carpet every single night of the week trying to get one off. These dudes, bro, let me tell you what these dudes always say, bro. They always try to tell you there ain't no way a woman can sense a man on retention. Well, let me tell you guys something. Let me tell you guys something. I'm going to give you a small example of such, okay? It's funny how canines can pick up the scent of a human that has been in the area a, a long time ago, okay? Weeks ago, months ago, a canine can pick up a scent, Okay. So what does that say? That's saying that you as a human, as a person, okay, are releasing, okay, you are releasing something, okay, that you as people may not be able to pick up, may not be able to track, may not be able to sense. But just because that we can't perceive that does not mean that that is not happening on a different type of a level. And this is what's happening. This is the energy of the retainer. This is why the women, okay, that I work with all often will find themselves in my vicinity. It's not because they're trying to hit on me. It's not because, you know, on any kind of level that they want me. It's they don't understand why they are drawn to the energy. I'm emitting it. I'm excreting it 24-7, bro. I'm not depleting. This is our natural communication mechanism that we have as humans, but we have disconnected from this, okay? We have lost this art, bro, okay? But the people that got it, okay, and there's many other people that got it. There's people, all sorts of famous people out there who are behind the veil that are not even telling you that this is a part of their recipe to success, all right? Because it is, this is how you build, all right? This is how you create something out of nothing. This is your creative sexual life force energy, and there is nothing else like it, bro, all right? There is nothing else like it, bro, all right? I can't tell you how many times, bro, being around, working around women, as I'm telling you, bro, that all of a sudden now I got some chichamangas on my arm, okay? Because they don't even realize it okay, that they're doing what they're doing. It's the energy, okay? It's what I'm excreting. I'm, I'm, guys, I am past full, okay? I am a ripe piece of fruit, bro, okay? I am, okay? I am, bro, all right? A male, bro, all right? Who, who is able to give all right, the highest amount of quality, all right, of seed to a woman who is ready, all right, and this is what's happening. This is what they're receiving on a, a you know, on a, on, a, on a level that we can't perceive. The women are knowing this, bro, without knowing it, and they're putting themselves in my vicinity all right. And they're showing me every single day that this has been happening. This has happened. It doesn't matter who I'm around. Okay. I can, I can, I can stamp of approval on this is one of the number one things that will happen to you on retention when you're holding your seed long enough. Okay. Especially when you work in an environment, you know, in close proximity with other people, you are really going to see your ability and your powers then. Okay. And like I said, it's, re it's, it's crazy on how much eye contact. Okay. How much direct eye contact. Okay. How much, you know, uh, people daydream stare. Okay. At you. 
because this is what is happening, bro. Okay. This is what's happening, bro, on levels that us humans, bro, are not able to perceive, but we understand something that's going on. And when I tell you that every single person, bro, <laughs> that's ever met the shave line king, bro. All right. This is what happens. How is it that I'm able to connect with every single person that I'm able to meet, bro? Okay. And like I said, if, if numbers was a thing, then, uh, you know, we're going to have to see who has the most numbers. Okay. If that's, if numbers are a thing, we're going to have to see who, who has the most numbers. Okay. Because it doesn't even matter. Okay. About that. But I'm just proving the fact to you that it's your energy. Okay. That is now making these people comfortable in your presence, bro. All right. And now they are opening up to you. Okay. Now being vulnerable. Okay. And they don't even perceive that they're doing it. This is the power, bro. This is that gift. All right. And this is why people who are retaining their seeds ends up, you know, excelling to the highest of heights. All right. Because we have a gift and we understand and we recognize it. And because we're able to recognize the gift, we're able to capitalize on it, meaning we're able to uh, practice it more and hone in on it to perfection. Okay. And when we have this type of ability, we become very dangerous people. All right. And like I said, this is why it must be used for good. Okay. You know, there's evil people out there too who can all of a sudden decide not to use their sexual life force energy, bro. Okay. And decide to cultivate this energy and use it for a negative purpose. All right. And this is why I'm trying to tell you we have that same ability as well. All right. And you got to understand that this is what's happening to you. Wow, you're on these long streaks of retention, okay? Because this is what's going to happen every single time. Every single time you can mark it down, you can write it in a book, you can stamp it, you can make videos about it all day long because this is an absolute fact. They're all going to change in your presence, okay? It's up to you to take those relationships, those friendships, those, you know, business ships, whatever it is that you acquire from the people that you meet is up to you. Okay. As the retainer to understand that this is your power and to practice and hone in on these things. And this is where you become masterful. And when I tell you, you become, you know, people become literally like, like lily pads. Okay. As you skip Tinny Lou your way to the top. Okay. And this is what's going to happen to you. All right. I'm telling you guys, this is what's going to happen. It's inevitable. All right. You can, you can sit here and, 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 and hate all you want on a retainer. Okay. It is inevitable. Okay. You it, it, only, only thing that can stop me is myself. Okay. Only thing that can stop me is myself. And so far, bro. All right. I told you, I looked myself in the mirror a long time ago and I told, I, I said, I'm tired of, of hurting. I will never go back to using that word hurt ever again. Okay. You never hear me use negative frequency words. Why? Because I'm on the up. There's nothing but up from here, bro. Okay. Cause I understand, bro, what the power is that I'm working with. And now I know how to literally, bro, create a masterpiece, all right, with my energy, okay? And it's just a matter of time because what eventually happens is people start being attracted like flies to a light, okay? They will find you some kind of way, a buddy through a friend, a friend of a friend will recommend you. You end up cutting somebody's hair that you end up knowing this person and that person knows this person. The next thing you know, you're here, you're there, you're everywhere as a retainer. Okay. And this is why I recommend this to the highest degree. Okay. Because you become a, you become a master. First, you're going to become a student, but then you're going to evolve into becoming a master. And when you understand becoming a master, bro, this world that you guys are all doing, all this kicking it, all this trying to act hard, all this gangster stuff, okay, all this selling drugs, all the, whatever it is that you're doing, okay, that's petty, 
Okay. That's a waste of time. That's a risk for you. Okay. Know that you are wasting your life and you're wasting your time. Okay. When you could be walking a path like this, bro, and can be playing with the most highest intellectual powers. Okay. That your DNA has to offer. All right. And you will have an ability to go out here and create whatever you want. Okay, doesn't that sound way more better, bro, than continue to live in a life of degeneracy? Okay, a live in a life where, you know, you, you, you can just look yourself in the mirror and you know you ain't right. Okay, you know you ain't right. You're faking the funk. Okay, until you're authentic with yourself and you sit here and you can look me and yourself in the eye and say, I am really being real here with myself. Okay. And I'm happy with myself. I wake up every single day and I'm in the same happy mood. Okay. I, I, I have consistency in my life. Okay. I don't have addictions. I don't have habits until you can honestly look yourself in the mirror and say that. Okay. You have not begun to walk this journey. You have not begun to face yourself. Okay. And you will not ever understand. Okay. The power of the people who are out here retaining their seed. And this is why you need respect for these people. You can laugh, you can giggle, and you can do all the crazy craziness that you want to. There's all sorts of difficult degrees of difficulties of things in the world. Okay. You can just go look at stuff like, you know, American gladiator. That's a difficulty. Okay. How many people do you see go do American gladiator? Not very many, right? Look at how many people actually retain their seed and become a master a real master. See, you guys, you guys use that word and you watch your little Kung Fu movies and you say, Oh, that person's a master. And you don't understand what signifies being a master. You don't understand the type of power, the type of life, the type of ability. Okay. The type of freedom, the type of peace that somebody like that has in their life. But yet you don't want to be like that. Why? Because you understand that that person who is that now that master had to do everything that you can't face yourself and look yourself in the mirror and say that you have that addiction to. Okay. And that's what makes or breaks the retainer. And this is why when you get on this side, guess what? There is no turning back ever. You can't ever go back, bro. Okay. Cause you don't see, you don't see the dark side and now you don't see what heaven looks like. Okay. And you understand that heaven is infinite and you could just keep walking and keep walking and keep walking and things are going to keep getting better and better and better your whole entire life. This is the life of a retainer. This is why people bro all around you change within your energy because it's people like me who are drawing these pictures for other people in my presence to resonate and feel the energy that I am putting out. Okay. And they are drawn in. Okay. And once they become drawn into this light, bro. Okay. They do what everybody else that I've ever met that comes in my presence, bro. They become vulnerable. Okay. Not in a negative way, but it's just the way it is. Okay. It's, it's like, it's like a conf being around a retainer is like going to a church to a confession. Okay. And you go into a little confession booth and you just want to sit there and say the things that are on your mind. You want to say the things that are bothering you. Okay. And this is what happens when you become in the presence of a true retainer. Okay. And you guys know that because you guys do the same thing here in the comment section. Okay. It's the truth. Okay. And when I tell you that every single person that comes in my presence, okay, every single one of them that comes in my presence end up doing this at one point or another. All right. And I become either that father figure, that role model. Okay. Okay. That's what I become. This is what I become the 99% of these people, bro. Okay. Because I am now, bro. All right. Understanding my purpose in life. I am now understanding, bro, that my mind is not, I'm out here trying to dig everything out. I'm not out here trying to take advantage of people. I'm not out here trying to create any kind of negative karma. Okay. Everything that I'm doing, okay, is for the good. And this is why I'm going to continue to keep rising up. And this is why I want you guys to repeat the same steps that I am doing. Okay. You don't, you don't got to walk the exact same path, but Hey, you can take what I'm telling you, bro. Okay. And you can change a few things here and there. All right. But the blueprint is there. All right. This is how your life changes. This is how you will not ever need anything. This is how you become bro whole. 
Okay. You guys don't ever see me hanging out with anybody. You guys don't ever hear me, you know, going to do that. I can have those options, bro. But look how, look what the happiness that I have here. It is quiet. Okay. I can hear myself think I can sleep when I want to. Okay. I can watch what I want when I want to. Okay. I don't have to entertain the energy. Okay. That is not living this life this current life that I am living until an individual has walked the path that, that I have gone through and understand that they've learned all of these things. And now they know how to truly deal with people. Okay. Because they're all going to change until you understand and know how to truly deal with people, bro. Okay. I would suggest you keep walking your journey, man. Okay. Until you figure out your truths. But I promise you, it all starts with that sexual life force energy and retaining your seed. So guys, just do me a favor. Don't ever quit. There's no such thing as the word quit. They made that word up. So you would in fact quit. Okay. They told you the word quit is quit for a reason. They, they made that up. Okay. So you would stop. All right. Your progress. Don't ever give up. Keep going. Things get hard. But I promise you, if you keep a vision in your mind and say, that's the goal I'm trying to get to. And no matter what, no matter what, I don't care if they try to take my legs out from me. I'm going to have to drag my body to that finish line. Then that's what you do. And I promise you the reward that you get when you get there, bro, will be worth every single pain and suffering moment that you went through. And it's going to make you so damn strong, bro, that you are now going to have this gift, man, to change people all the way around you. All right. And when I tell you that this is the best life that I could have ever accidentally stumbled and fell into, I could not lie to you guys. So that's all I want to tell you guys tonight. I'm about to dip up out of here. I love you guys. I want you guys to understand, man, that these people, bro, <laughs> they're going to change. Okay. And they can't help it. Okay. They can't help it, bro. Okay. Because when they come into an energy of a pure retainer, someone who is on purity, someone who is celibate, all right. Someone who is really, truly harnessing and cultivating all of this chi energy, bro. Okay. All they're going to want to do, bro. All right. Is be, is be in your presence. Okay. That's all they're going to want to do. And they're going to become vulnerable and they're going to open up to you. And this is where you're going to have to use. All right. Yo gifts for positive, bro. Okay. Do not take advantage of people. Okay. Guide people, lead people, bro. By example, with your energy, because they need you as a jump start to get their life going in the right direction. So I appreciate all you guys for coming in here tonight. You guys have a good rest of the week, man. And I'll try to come back in a couple of days and talk to you guys on the next one. I love you guys. You guys stay safe, man. Peace, brothers. I will not stay. Even if I must sacrifice my life.